Good evening. This is CTV News for Friday, April 22nd. I'm Patricia Ballone. Thank you for joining us. Well, police, prosecutors, and politicians join forces in an effort to stop a reported surge of gun violence this year in parts of the state and including Prince George's County and Baltimore City. Gun safety advocates say stronger handgun licensing laws are needed. Officials also say that lax laws in other states are adding to the problem. We're not as safe as we could be or as we ought to be, and the reason we're not as safe as we ought to be is because our neighbors uh, make it much easier to, to purchase a handgun. They don't require the same kind of rigorous vetting uh, that Maryland does. 44% of Maryland's guns used in crimes come from out of state, from states like Virginia where they have looser laws and no licensing. And this is why we need legislation to incentivize other states to adopt similar licensing laws. Within these past month, Prince George's County has seen our police officer killed and uh, one of our firefighters. We've also seen the effects of gun violence in the county, especially around domestic issues. And so I've asked our public safety director, Mark McGall, and our police department to look at ways that we can reduce the access of guns in Prince George's County and quite frankly, in the state of Maryland. In its fiscal year 2017 Department of Justice spending bill, the Senate Appropriations Committee included more than $1 billion in federal funds to reduce gun violence. The money would go toward enhancing the FBI's capacity to run background checks, better enforce gun laws, and school safety initiatives. $2.4 billion is allocated for state and local law enforcement activities, including hiring and training officers and crime lab improvements. Well, the American Civil Liberties Union is suing to protect access of migrant farm workers to legal aid. The federal suit challenges as unconstitutional, a year-long no trespass order issued by Montgomery County Police to Maryland Legal Aid. The advocates of the organization had been trying to visit and provide legal information to workers living on site at the Lewis Orchards Farm in Dickerson. And Robert Cobbs works for Cohen, Milstein, Sellers & Toll, a law firm that does pro bono work for the ACLU. This farm, uh, they're in desperate need of the kinds of services that Legal Aid and Nora Rivero provide, uh, and they have a right to receive them. Had you heard complaints about this farm? Is that why you were there? So we don't actually know. Uh, Legal Aid visits every farm in uh, Maryland and Delaware every year. Uh, the workers there told uh, Rivero that they had been working some unpaid over or some. Uh, overtime without overtime pay. Uh, but part of the problem is if legal aid can't talk to these workers, uh, we don't know what's going on. State and federal government's contract with Maryland Legal Aid to help fight worker exploitation. Well, programs to protect women and families gets a big boost on Capitol Hill. The Senate Appropriations Committee, vice chaired by Maryland's own Barbara Mikulski, has included a record $481 million for the Department of Justice's Office on Violence Against Women. Also, Mikulski says $646 million in federal funds have been allocated for a newly consolidated FBI headquarters. The overall fiscal year 2017 spending bill provides $29 billion to the DOJ to fight crime and terrorism. The legislation now moves to the Senate floor for a vote. Well, a Greenbelt man is now facing child porn charges. 50-year-old Rodney White is accused of possessing and distributing child pornography and displaying obscene matter to a minor. Now, earlier this year, the Maryland Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force says that they were led to White after being alerted to the potential distribution of the illegal material online. Investigators say after a search of White's home yesterday, they found they recovered various digital media storage devices. More charges against White are pending. And you are watching CTV News. I'm Patricia Vallone.